Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. For those who don't know me, those who are new to this channel, my name is Shiluba Mashele and today I am back with another video. On this video I will be showing you what you're gonna need for your makeup, like makeup tools and products. So we're gonna start with the tools and and end with the products. So for your eyebrows you are gonna need a spoolie. A spoolie is used to brush your your brows to put them in place and you're gonna need a flat brush like this one it's curved on the sides i use it to uh, clean up my brows with the concealer and then for the eyeshadows you are gonna you are gonna need uh this ones even this one uh this one is the same one that i use to clean up my brows so guys you don't need a lot of brushes you just need to be creative with your brushes so this one i apply eyeshadow over my my eyelids and then these two are blending brushes and then this one i use it normally to uh put on my transition shade over my crease and then this one is to blend i use it to blend my transition shade or blend where there are harsh lines after i applied uh, eyeshadow over my my eyelid and then going to the face uh, you will need a fluffy brush like this one uh, this is used to use i usually set my face with it uh, i set uh, my face with it applying a press powder and then this one it's a curved it's a bit curved i usually use it to set my my contour and then this one i use it for uh applying highlighter over my face and then this one also i use it for highlighter or to apply a blush and then this one you may use it to apply concealer under your and um, under your your eyes uh, your nose and your forehead and your chin but for me, because I use a concealer that already has a brush, Nyana, I just apply using a concealer. And then to blend my my foundation, I use a beauty blender. I use a beauty blender to blend my foundation. I use a beauty blender to blend my concealer in place. So you are also going to need... Uh, uh, face wipes uh, for uh, for it's for eyes lips and face but I don't usually use them I use them when I have access uh, uh, thing, when I have access uh, eyeshadow <laughs> when I'm busy doing eyeshadow and eyeshadow falls off uh, on my face I usually use this clean it up and I usually I also use it to uh remove my from my makeup on the face they are really nice it's nivea i got them from kids so for my brushes um i buy my brushes from signature cosmetics they don't have numbers they it's just shapes uh they are very affordable uh some of them i buy them from amazon or oh, when i buy something from amazon and then it's a gift they bring it they give it to me as a gift and then now we are coming to the products and the first thing that you're going to need on the products is the foundation uh i usually use the milani foundation uh, i bought it i got it from amazon very affordable and then sometimes i use maybelline superstay you can get it from foshini edgar's clicks or discam or the maybelline fit me also from foshini uh discam uh, edgar's and yeah and edgars and then you are going to need a translucent setting powder a translucent setting powder is used to set your concealer after you've applied uh, on under your eyes your nose your chin and your forehead and then you are also going to need a you are either going to need a bronzer or a contour and a highlight palette uh, this i got it from amazon it's from nyx uh, on the look that i'm having now i used this one to 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 set my contour 
and then this is a highlight and contour palette it's from it's smudge i got it from clicks very affordable even their foundation and concealers are very affordable it's a contour and highlight palette so you, if you have this you don't have to have a separate uh contour and a separate highlighter so you're gonna it's you're gonna use this one and then you are also gonna need a blush if you are a blush person you're gonna need a blush it's i got this from white and wild uh it's from clicks it's world and wild brand from clicks so you can use any brand that you feel comfortable using or you want to buy but these ones that i'm showing you today they are very affordable and then you're also going to need a concealer uh, you're going to need a light one and a brown one, and a dark one let's say a shade lighter than your normal color and a shade darker than your normal color so this one is la girl Pro Conceal I got from this cam. It's very affordable in the shade Fawn. And then the darker one is in the dark cocoa. This one I used to highlight. I used to clean up my brows. And then this one I used to contour if I want to cream contour. Or sometimes um, this is also um, uh, a concealer, I would say, or a highlight, creamy highlight palette, uh, highlight and contour palette. I got from uh, Foshini. It's the brand. It's colors, and it's it's very affordable. I think it comes once the brand colors comes once a year at Foshini, and then once it's finished, then you wait for the next year. This one I've been having it and using it for a while now. It's very good. You can also highlight your face with it and clean up your brows. It's got four colors. So I have a mascara here. I got it from Clicks. It's the brand is wet and wild. It's very nice because I have very small uh, um, eyelashes, so it's very small. And then you are gonna need an eyebrow, an eyebrow pencil. This is an eyebrow pencil from Essence. It's very nice. It's the one that I use today. It's very nice. Or you can get. I also use black opal. Black opal is very nice. I also use. Uh, eyebrow pencil from signature cosmetics in the color dark chocolate i usually use dark brown or dark chocolate that's what i use on my eyebrows i don't like black so you are also going to need a primer so this one it's a maybelline baby skin instant pore eraser this is very nice it's the primer that i use today it's very nice and it feels good on the skin and then you are also going to need an eye shadow palette this is an eyeshadow palette from Huda Beauty. I got it uh, from AliExpress. And then you are also going to need a lipstick. This is Rimmel. And then this is the other side. It's nice because it comes two in one. The other side is the lipstick. The other side is a lip gloss because we also need a lip gloss for our, our mouth or our lips. And then this is a lip scrub. I always use it before I apply any lipstick on my lips or when I feel my lips are very dry. I apply this, I scrub my lips and then apply either Vaseline or a lip gloss. And then this is a setting spray. A setting spray is used to put your makeup in place so i this is is that uh met from essence it's very nice it's a very nice one i also use um a setting spray from uh, la girl it's also very nice if you are an eyelash person you're gonna need an eyelash glue this is an eyelash glue from it's a kiss eye brand uh, from I bought it from I think Foshin. Yeah, I bought it from Foshin. It's very nice. It's the one I used. So for your uh, lash applicators, eyelash applicators, you gonna need something like this, or you can use your hands if you can, and you're gonna you, or you're gonna use tweezers, and you also you will also need of course eyelashes. So guys, if you really found this. Uh, video helpful give it a thumbs up and kindly subscribe